This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Lynda.com. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. It is finally time for the showdown of the two top cell phones on the market right now, the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the HTC One. Now, I put up my own individual reviews of both of these devices, but I keep getting the question, which one is better? So I'm going to settle that in this video right now. And so with no more delay, it's going to start the battle with the design. All right, so for this design category, I'm gonna make this pretty quick. The ACC One is the best design phone that I've ever used personally. Uh, it looks sexy, it's the sexiest phone, and the, the aluminum on it um, just really makes this phone feel great in your hand. Um, it has a curved back, which helps to that. It was not really great if you set this thing on a desk and wanna use it because it was gonna wobble a little bit. Um, but for the most part, ACC really took their time with the design, um, and every little piece of this phone, just from everything, is just really designed well. When you take a look at the S4, though, you know, it's the, again, it has a lot of the same characteristics as the Galaxy S3. And if you are using this thing in public, really people aren't going to really uh, be able to tell the difference unless they know what to look for. But for the most part, the S4 does one up the HTC One because it still has that removable uh, back. So now you can replace the battery and also uh, upgrade your, your storage capabilities up to an additional 64 gigabytes with a micro SD card slot. But just purely from design, I think uh, the, the HTC One is just really above everything else on the market right now. So it's going to take this category. All right, now the next category is going to be display. Now the HTC One has a 4.7 inch full HD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080, of course. Um, it has 460 PPI, that's pixels per inch. And you compare that to the Samsung Galaxy S4, which also has a 1080p display, um, and it comes in at 441 PPI, but it is slightly bigger coming in at five inches. And when you're using them individually, you're gonna be really satisfied with them. When we do compare them next to each other, the Samsung Galaxy S4 does seem to have brighter colors, um, they're not as accurate as it is on the HTC One when it comes to color representation. Um, but for the most part, the, the Samsung Galaxy S4 is really going to kind of go for that wow factor when you look at the display. Where when I found with the HTC One, again, like I said before, it's more accurate, more realistic when it comes to the colors. And it is a overall brighter screen too. And then when I look at them side by side, especially when I go to a web page, I just look at the white backgrounds. Um, the HTC One does a better job at that. And now with the S4, I do like in the software, you do have a new uh, uh, feature called Adapt Display, which basically depending on what you're doing, and whether you're viewing a web page or looking at a photo or watching video, um, it's going to change the display to kind of meet your, your needs the best. Uh, but I still feel that the HTC One overall, because it's not as big as five inches, I think 4.7 inches is a nice sweet spot for display. And again, the color accuracy for the HTC One was spot on. I'm going to have to give this display category to the HTC One as well. All right, now let's move on to performance. Now let's go and list off some of the specs of these phones. The HTC One comes with a 1.7 gigahertz quad-core processor alongside two gigabytes of RAM. And the Samsung Galaxy S4 features a 1.9 gigahertz quad-core processor and also two gigabytes of RAM. And also do note the Samsung Galaxy S4, you can get the international eight core processor as well if you really want that but when i did some of my benchmark tests i used 3d mark i used quadrant and also i used geekbench um, the samsung galaxy s4 did um, outperform the hcc one and it consistently throughout those tests and again it wasn't like a huge huge margin every single time but just technically speaking the samsung galaxy s4 is a more powerful phone than the hcc one and again this is just the quad core version not even the eight core version which again is going to provide you slightly better results as well so for this performance category i'm giving this to the samsung galaxy s4 all right, the next category is going to be battery life, and it's going to be another quick one because both of these are about even when it comes to battery life. Uh, they normally die around the same time every night just from normal usage, uh, give or take 30 minutes or an hour. Um, so we, neither one really just kind of has an edge in the battery life category. So you should be just fine uh, with using them, especially if you turn down the brightness and things like that. So this battery life category is a tie to both the Galaxy S4 and the HTC One. All right, now the next category is the closest of them all. This is the camera category. And on this category, I'm looking for the best all-around experience between both of these phones. And the HTC One features their four megapixel ultra pixel camera. And the Samsung Galaxy S4 is rocking a 13 megapixel camera. And both of these can take full 1080p HD videos at 30 frames per second. Now outdoors with plenty of sunlight, you can see from these examples, the Samsung Galaxy S4 does beat out the HTC One in my particular test. I felt that it was sharper. Um, it was able to really capture the images in a great way. And I think that overall, the HTC One may have a little bit more natural colors. I think the S4 did just produce a better overall picture. But now when you take in any type of low light situation, whether the sun is going down, you're indoors, anything like that, the HTC One slams down the Samsung Galaxy S4 and really almost every other smartphone uh, on the market when it comes to low light performance. Now when it comes to software, the Samsung Galaxy S4 slams down the HTC One. Um, it has a lot of cool software 
software tweaks you can do with it uh, from the new drama mode where you can take action shots uh, and have multiple images of that same person in one particular shot it also does have uh, the new dual camera mode uh, which allows you to record with both the front facing and rear facing camera at the same exact time but then moving back over to the HTC one I felt that it was faster to focus and when I was trying to take some macro shots of flowers or anything like that it, it, it immediately locked on to uh, the subject I was trying to focus on I was able to snap the pictures or multiple pictures in burst mode pretty quickly then also I like the editing capabilities of the HTC one so after you take the picture you have a lot of different effects and things like that but also you get in there and start removing shine from people's faces and contouring their faces and you can do a whole bunch with the editing software on the HTC one that you can do with the s4 and so to wrap up this camera category again it was razor thin close because each one is better in certain situations uh, but I felt like the HTC one was going to be a better camera on a phone uh, for when you just see something you want to pull the phone out of your pocket snap a picture real quick have it be in focus um, and be pretty solid no matter what type of lighting condition you're in I felt that the HTC one was a better overall camera for that so the HTC one is going to take this category now let's move on to the last category and this is going to be software. Now both of these phones are running Android Jelly Bean, uh, but the Samsung Galaxy S4 is updated. It has 4.2.2, where the HTC One is currently running 4.1.2. And then both of them have their own skins on top of Android, where the HTC One is running the new Sense 5.0 and the Samsung Galaxy S4 is running their TouchWiz UI. And now both of these phones really do approach software in two totally different ways. Now with the HTC One, you, they're going for a, a cleaner, simpler look to it. It's not really a whole bunch of new features really with this phone besides the new blink feed which uh, combines like your Facebook and your Twitter um, accounts and now you can see status updates from your friends in one single kind of home screen there which I actually do like it's a lot like uh, Flipboard but uh, I really do like having that built into the software but for the most part I didn't feel that HFC really spent a lot of time to create new features for this phone they just really executed all the, the simple things as far as you know just navigating all the applications you have with the web browser um, and I, I do like the even the clock application to set your alarms all those little different things are really spot on again very clean and to the point uh, but when you look at something like the Galaxy S4 which has everything you can think of um, in this phone when it comes to software um, they have the new air view where now you can hover your finger over the uh, the screen itself to see information in, the, in your emails whether you're uh, looking at pictures and things like that which is really cool and actually really useful um, and also too you can wave your hand over the phone to see things uh, when your phone is asleep to see kind of basic information a lot of cool stuff like that uh, plus it has eye tracking and and then also too you can uh, tilt the phone to navigate stuff um, and then we look at some of the new software when it comes to s health so if you're really worried about you know trying to maintain your fitness and, and, and manage your calorie intake and um, your exercise habits and all those things all that is built into it you don't need to buy you know or download any separate software and so I have heard some people say that the S4 feels bloated because it has a lot of software but I feel that um, again I'm never going to complain it has too many features if you're not going to use them just delete them from your home screen and so ultimately I feel like the Samsung Galaxy S4 and its software is more closer to the pure Android experience I know it's not stock Android like Nexus devices but it's closer to that than the HTC One which is definitely totally in left field uh, but again I did feel that the HTC One was a little bit snappier when it comes to performance and that may be due in part because it doesn't have so much uh, software inside of it just it did feel a little bit snappier switching between applications and just opening things up but I cannot deny the Samsung Galaxy S4 this software category because again it has almost everything you could think of with the phone uh, notification panel multitasking against more truer uh, to the, just the true Android experience I would say um, and it just it just has every feature you can probably think of to be able to use with the phone so I had to give this software category to the Samsung Galaxy S4 all right, so that was the last category, and that wraps up my comparison between the HTC One and the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, if you're paying attention, you see that the HTC One did beat out the Galaxy S4 three to two, and again, both of them tied in the battery life category. Uh, but really, I mean, bottom line, guys, both of these phones are top notch. These are one and two in the market right now when it comes to cell phones, and again, you can switch them back and forth depending on your, on your personal taste. And so, if you're trying to decide between both of these phones, really look at what you want to do with your phones. I mean, if you like the Galaxy S4 for having so many features, and you can do so much with it um, and I think the software again is, is more innovative uh, than the HTC one you want to go with that one if you're looking at really hardware specific reasons for the display and the cameras and just the overall look and feel of the phone plus you have some decent software to go on top of that as well um, you want to go with the HTC one so really hardware HTC one software Samsung Galaxy S4 that's the easiest way to break down these two phones if you're really looking at them for yourself all right so I'm really interested to see what you guys think about this battle between the HTC one and the 
the Samsung Galaxy S4. It was a pretty close one. Uh, I want to see what your opinions are down below in the comment section. And please, guys, respect each other's opinions. Somebody doesn't agree with you on the HTC One, you, you can disagree with them, but don't bash them or say negative things, guys. Be nice. We're, we're, we're nice people around here. But anyway, before I officially do in this video, guys, it's going to take one to look at our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Lynda.com, which is an online learning company that has over 77,000 video tutorials to help teach you software, creative, and business skills. And so you can learn about web design, programming, photography, audio, video, 3D, and animation, a whole bunch of different things on this website. And memberships start at just $25 a month, and they provide you 24-7 unlimited access to top quality video tutorials from experts that have real-world experience. And so if you want to try this out absolutely free for seven days, you can go to lynda.com forward slash soldier, either on your computer or your iPhone or your iPad via one of their apps. Again, that's lynda.com forward slash soldier. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. All the links down to my social networks are down below. And thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Peace from all the way back here. Peace.